Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, just taking apart one of these uh, art games. Uh, Mega Drive handhelds, uh, pretty awful fire core emulation and stuff on them, but um, they're not so bad for, you know, uh, just like playing a couple of Mega Drive games on the move kind of thing. The sound emulation is not perfect, that's the main problem with these. Um, buttons aren't working, um, it's just, you know, switches itself off and you press a button. So, uh, I'm going to clean up all the contacts and stuff here. Um, have a look at the board. Looks like the solder looks all right on that chip there. Um, looks like a QFM type chip or something. It could be a BGA. Looks like it might be a BGA actually. That little chip there. So uh, mm. could be a problem with that. Not sure. But uh, yeah, I'll clean it all up and uh, give it a test. Right. Well, I reflowed a lot of components and things on here um, to no end. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Um, I found a hidden sort of secret, <laughs> call it what you will, uh, diagnostics mode um, and this has helped me a great deal really understand perhaps what's wrong with this um, I think you can see that, uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out, let's see if we can just zoom in a bit uh, see if it'll focus, yeah it's not a great screen is it, it's, uh, it's not too bad actually it's just this light and this camera's not picking up very well so as you can see there, I've just tested all the controls and things um, and calculate the checksum saying the ROM size is 16 meg uh, flash A checksum is 54588 now the reason I'm posting this um, I'd like to see if anybody else has got one of these I'll show you how to get into the um, the test mode in a sec and just uh, do the checksum and if you could just report back uh, oh, there's two ch flash flashes as well, different checksum there um, please press reset, I lost reset start, no, menu, um, I'll just show you now what this is doing, it's doing the same thing really as before where the controls just don't do anything um, and I think it's the ROM, I think the ROM that's on here is um, either corrupted or um, because it's BGA it's off the board so what I might do is take this to pieces, remove plastic components and uh, get my hot air gun onto the uh, that ROM chip um, see if I can reflow it, but in the meantime I'll just show you how you get into the diagnostics on this um, so I'll switch it off, switch it on right so when it's on hold down ABC it's going to be a bit difficult this, ABC and the start button press up you might even have to press the menu button again yeah you do, and you get that sound, it says test audio, you can see that um, so it says uh, press C to exit, so A and B do nothing, directions do nothing start does nothing, if you press C then goes into video, it says test video uh, B to change, so if I press B you'll go through the different modes, so I can bl say blues alright, green, red black, and it just goes round press C to exit that, and then you onto the test controls screen, well, you can see that, uh, it says press um, all key, so player one up, so I press up, it you now highlight black, down, left right, A, B, C and S is start and then it goes into the checksum. So as you can see the directions are alright, there's actually nothing wrong with the directions, it's a red herring. Um, the uh, FPGA, um, you know, the Firecore firmware there is obviously booting up. Um, seems to work okay, uh, but then there's some sort of crash or something or a hang, and I think that's why the controls aren't working. It looks like the controls aren't working, but it's just locked, it's frozen. Um, and my guess is that the checksums here are either going to be incorrect, um, or there's something else wrong, perhaps with the internal part of the fire core, the emulator part of the fire core, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, but certainly the controls work, that's, and the sound works, and obviously the, the, the basic display um, stuff works there. Um, so, not really sure. I do know that um, there's two chips in here. The one that I showed um, is uh, looks like it's um, BGA type um, mounting there on that little your sort of sub board that soldered onto the main board but I think under uh, and they're badly positioned you know one of the problems with these it, the location of them are bloody stupid the that, that ROM chip sits directly under the d-pad here so as you're putting pressure on these buttons you're putting pressure on that chip um, you know sort of disposable design really um, and then the other chip is underneath the three fire buttons here and it might be this one that's that, that chip that's the one that's at fault um, and that particular chip, I believe, is the actual fire core. You know, it's an FPGA with the emulator, fire core emulator built in. So, uh, and that's got a big black blob of, uh, I don't know what it is. You know, what they really put on those. It's like it's almost rock. It's rock solid. Um, might have to try and get that off with something. And um, 
see if I can reflow that. So I don't know, but in the first instance, if you've got one of these, you know, the, the basic Mega Drive one with the 18 games, I don't think it's got Sonic, it's got Sonic and Knuckles or something daft in it, isn't it? It's not got any of the actual Sonic games and it's got like Golden Axe 2, I think. Um, if I just go back to the menu, you might be able to see. Let's see, we see the first few games that are in the list there, just to see if you've got the same one. Yeah, so when it shows, yeah, Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Altered Beast, Arrow, Flash, Columns 3, and it's page 1 or 4. If you've got one of these, please do that, check something. Um, let's say ABC, start, up, and then tap menu, um, and just go through there, do the check something. Please report back what you get. That'd be great. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.